Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Brother James Benedict. Greetings in the most loving name of Jesus Christ. A very good morning once again. Topic for today's morning is entitled Brokenness brings the best blessings in our lives. For devotion, let's read from the book of Exodus chapter 30 verses 34 to 36. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take unto thee sweet spices, and thou shalt make it a perfume, and thou shalt beat some of it very fine, and put some of it before the testimony in the tabernacle of meeting. You may feel as if you are being broken today in body, in spirit or in material things. If so, we must consider that it may be God's way of bringing forth something better and good for us. Let us think about the Lord's instructions for worship in the Old Testament tabernacle. Some of the ingredients of the holy anointing oil had to be crushed before they were used because until they were crushed, their fragments could not be released. The crushing of the incense is a picture of what happened to Christ. Just as the incense had to be crushed before it could give forth its fragments, so also Christ has to be broken before he could be our Savior. Jesus Christ himself, the grain of wheat, we see in St. John chapter 12 verse 24, if he had not been ground to floor, He could not have become the bread of life, nor he could have had any hope whatsoever. We all realize that the death of Christ can save you and me. Without the shedding of blood, there is no salvation. Hebrews 9.22 Well, if we are washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, after our confession of sins, then we can be sure that even in our own times of brokenness, and crushing, God can bring forth a fragrance that becomes a blessing to the world and glorification to Christ and to his kingdom. Sometimes God breaks us so he can remake us. In trial, sometimes we are crushed. And when we are crushed, Lord help us to know only by such crushing and brokenness we can yield that fragrance to the world. Give us your grace, O Lord, to understand and help us to know that it is for our own good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day.